Hi, I'm Patricia Louise Nelson, attorney with Two Spruce Law, where you get excellence with compassion when you need it most. And this is Bo. We in Central Oregon have a very special relationship with our animals, horses, dogs, cats, and other animals. Let's talk about providing for your animals in your estate plan. So if you don't plan for your pet, they fall under the broad category of tangible personal property, like a lamp or a chair. Let's make sure we provide for your pet so it lands in a safe, loving home. As I see it, there are three choices for how to proceed with planning for a pet. One is to leave the pet to someone you know will love and cherish that animal for life. That is the ideal option in my opinion. Another option is to leave the animal and some cash, some amount of money that you hope will last longer than the animal. And then we run into what if it doesn't. The third option is to leave cash in someone's hands and the pet in someone else's hands so that those two people have to work together to ensure that the animal's needs are met. And then perhaps on the death of the animal, the person with the cash sends it off to a local animal shelter like Brightside Animal Center. So in the context of pets, in my opinion, the worst thing you can do is nothing. Let's cover your pets in your estate plan.